Today we're making ghost pepper sauce for hot wings. The ghost peppers smell bad and uh, I'm sure they're gonna burn so I have this protective glove, courtesy of Smith's, to cut off the booties. We're then going to drop these in the blender with some red hot, throw the red hot on the stove, add in some butter. We're not even gonna season these. We don't need to, because we're not gonna taste them. Our mouths are gonna be on fire. We'll take these, we're gonna drop them in. Put a little bit of this just for moisture. Put this on top. Pray to God it doesn't explode on my eyes. Pulse, grate, blend, shred, grind, liquefy, ice crush. Ice crush? <laughs> Smell it. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wing sauce, very simple to make. Butter and sauce and whatever you want. So we put the rest of the red hot in here. Throw butter in, low heat, let it simmer. A little bit of death. Ah, Look how mean it looks. I know. <laughs> it just looks mean. And then we stir that for uh, however long we want to. With a wooden spoon that will never be used again. It looks like artwork. Don't ever stop stirring. Chicken wings are done. Very little seasoning, very little effort. I'm gonna show you guys the broke man's way. To toss these. Look at that. You don't gotta be like Bobby Flay <laughs> to cook flavors like his. I did try the sauce earlier and we might have done something wrong because it's nowhere near as spicy as the actual pepper. But we'll let these rest for a little bit and then we'll give it a shot. Oh, don't go, where are you going? No way, that's where you're going. What movie is that from? Spider-Man. Boondocks Night. Oh yeah. <laughs> it says I'm Spider-Man too, the first one. Really? Yeah. Salivating, fuck. Delicious though. But spicy. Oh uh, yeah. Got a little sweat going, that's about it. That was really hot. It's tasty as fuck though. It is so good. Ah, it's pretty hot. I'm a masochist, so. Ah, oh, it's super hot though. I'm not gonna breathe well in a few minutes. Dude, it's like delayed. Oh, it just hit you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad it's not burning my fucking lips or anything. It's just my fucking yeah, tongue. Yeah, my lips a little bit. Yeah, I'm my fucking upper lip. Mmm. Can't be a bit. I tested the sauce, but I have not eaten the full wing yet. Look at it. Completely wet. It's real. I think Frank's might have taken away the heat. Unless there's a delayed... Reaction, you get the ghost pepper flavor, but it doesn't punch in the face. I'm on my third wing, and it's really spicy. Not as spicy on the mouth as I expected, but the whole body high, the sweating, and the, uh, like your sinuses, it's all real. The mouth pain comes a lot later than usual. It doesn't taste like that weird bitterness, that weird chemical metallic taste you get from like a top 10 hot sauce. Get out of here. You don't want no part of this. Get out of here. I got through six. I'm miserable. The sauce is relentless. It only gets worse and worse. I really dramatically underestimated it at first. But I'm really fucked up now. I'm sweating, my eyes are burning, my mouth hurts. It has a good taste to it. It does taste good. My head is throbbing. I wanna cry right now. Cry. Let me see your tears. It's definitely spicy. It's not overwhelming. It's delicious. Try it in your own home. I got the ghost peppers off eBay. They're kind of hard to find, but if you search long enough, you will find fresh ghost peppers 
I would never do this with the Reapers because the Reapers taste terrible. So if you want something spicy that doesn't kill you, still has that buffalo taste with a real man's dick in it. So if you want that buffalo taste with a real man's dick in your mouth, follow my recipe, and I'll see you next time. Kuda Matata, bitches.